one in the Cancun Challenge. It's tapped, and it's Wichita State basketball. Shockers in the black uniforms tonight. DePaul wearing the white. Left wing with the basketball. That's Evan Wessel inside. Ball tipped away from Carl Hall, the offensive leader so far for Wichita State through four games. Baker has it. Had an 18-point game earlier in the season. Baker gets it up top to Armstead. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Drives. Three seconds to shoot. Baker. And it's a shot clock violation. Interesting first possession for Wichita State. DePaul burns the whole 35 on defense. Well, DePaul was solid. They stayed down. And interesting matchup. They don't put Melvin on Hall, but they put him on the weaker offensive player, Rupe, try and save him for the offensive end. Brandon Young handles the basketball for the Blue Demons. Two and one on the Young season. Lahar had it. He got it off the right side that was Melvin momentarily and he gave it back away to Brandon Young Young and Melvin a couple of the keys for this football team ball tipped up and nearly in off a of shocker's hand missed it again and a foul on the boards it was Ahime Arupe battling for Wichita State and Carl Hall might have picked up the foul let's see who they call that on coach no nope. no I'm sorry it wasn't it was the, uh, the uh, ball foul. They called it on McKinney as he reached in. Thought I saw a 22 flash by the officials. You're right, 32 Charles McKinney for the ball. Picks up the first foul of the game. And now the second foul quickly on the board. And the call is going to pick up another one. Bad, two these, are, fouls. these are two very similar teams on the defensive end. Both teams will play primarily man-to-man. -man, but on dead ball situations, they'll pick up full court, sometimes testing to see if you get sloppy, sometimes trying to make the steal. Donovan Kirk, the junior from Pontiac, Michigan, picked up that foul. One for him. Inbounds try was tipped out of bounds. Wichita State going to talk about it again quickly and head back to the inbound position. Malcolm Armstead, the senior. Tough access. Does get it in to Evan Wessel, the sophomore. Up top to Baker. Baker, a redshirt freshman. And a push off there. Baker hit the shot, but that won't count. And instead, Ron Baker has his first foul and the first team foul for the Shockers. Keep an eye on that weak arm, the right arm by Baker as he clears the offensive lane, commits the offensive foul. Brandon Young flew to the floor, and now he'll handle the basketball in the center court Cancun logo. Into motion goes to DePaul offense. No score yet. A bump as the drive of the basket. Charles McKinney, the sophomore, was on his way to the hoop. So now two fouls apiece in the first couple of minutes of this game. Wessel just not moving his feet once the offensive player got his shoulders in front. The foul is committed. Dimitri Williams just checked in for Wichita State. Here's a takeaway, and the Shockers have the basketball. Defensive pressure earns a possession. Williams handles up top. Gets it off to Baker on the baseline. Back to Williams. Three on the way. Tip no good. Nice rebound on the second chance by Donovan Kirk. Well, over two minutes played, coach, and nary a point on the board yet. Here's a foul. That'll go against Wichita State. Well, good start for DePaul on the glass. Wichita State is a very good rebounding team. DePaul must limit them to one shot. They've done that thus far. Full shot clock for the Blue Demons. And a travel there into the lane, a little indecision, and Baker had defense just enough to force the travel. If you're a young player, you play defense with your feet. Baker does a great job of sliding, causes the indecision by DePaul, and forces the turnover by McKinney. Once again, you can see a dead ball situation as we 
flash to Greg Marshall's wife in the stands. But dead ball situation. DePaul will try and press and look for either a errant pass or fall back in half court man to man. Well, officials verifying the call. They'll meet and get it right. Our officials tonight, Bill Elk, Jim Shipper, and Mike Maslona handling the first of two semifinals tonight. Doubleheader for you this evening and again tomorrow night from Cancun. Doubleheader of College Hoops. Oliver Purnell is pleading his case. Wessel is heading to the bench. Jacale Cotton is in the game. That is two fouls on the board here. We got a little confusion on the board, but they've got now Wessel up for two fouls. That's why he took a seat. And Wichita State's back to action. 17 and a half minutes to go, first half. And a backcourt foul on defensive pressure by Worrell Klahar. Dad, how do you tell when a program is established Look at Demetrius Williams, a senior for Wichita State, comes off the bench and accepts that role. He has a chance to be the best sixth man in the Missouri Valley Conference this season. Was named the Shockers' most improved player last season. Praised for his defensive effort. Here he's going to get fouled by Klahar, who picks up his second. Klahar didn't believe it. And, of course, a player who fouls seldom believes it. What would you see, Coach? But players must adjust to the officiating the the officials are calling it close although on that one kohar clearly grabbed his wrist but when the officials are going to call it tight you have to adjust the way you play on a defensive end lob inside knocked away entry pass to arupe was taken away by the blue demons no score almost three minutes in shutout being pitched by each defense here tonight I think we said in the open it was going to be a high scoring game. <laughs> First team to 80 wins. Yeah, we're outside the <laughs> boundaries of the United States, so maybe things will be different here tonight, a little different style of play perhaps. So far it's just been tough defense and the offense is not in sync. Melvin gave it away. Darrell McDonald handles up top. Five seconds to shoot, now down to three. Tough pressure defense. And a lob with one second to go. It does hit rim and reset the clock. Arupe tipped it out of bounds, and DePaul will get the basketball back. Escaped the bad possession that time. Great defensive effort by Demetrius Williams. And, you know, early season tournaments, early season play is usually where defenses are ahead of the offense. And, and we've seen it thus far in the first three and a half minutes where both defenses are taking the teams out of their offensive sets. Arupe just took a seat. He checked out, and now running off the floor is Donovan Kirk, who has been replaced. Darrell Robertson, a sophomore from Mississippi, who is now on the court. Darrell Robertson, Jr. And he gets the pass on the left blocks, kicks it back out. First points of the game? No. And it's Cotton with the rebound for Wichita State. Shockers quickly in the forecourt. Here's a look. Missed it. That was Cotton with a shot attempt. Cotton gets it back. He's fouled going to the basket. And we're going to see our first free throws of the night. Shooter always knows where the ball is coming off. Follow your shot. You're taught that from the time you're beginning play. Cotton learned his lesson. Goes to the free throw. Darrell Robertson picked up the foul. That's his first. Five fouls now for DePaul and three for Wichita State. Hey, we've got a point. All-inclusive game, including points. And it's 1-0 Wichita State. A cheer of joy from the Shockers faithful. One more try coming. Five fouls already. Less than four minutes played for DePaul. Three fouls committed by Wichita State. Racking up those fouls right out of the box tonight. Well, if you're Wichita State, you have more depth. So you can, you can afford the, the early fouls. Rebound tipped away by Clanthony early, and on the baseline, DePaul will grab possession. McDonald gave it to Melvin. Melvin hasn't had much to work with yet tonight. Averaging 20 points a game is Melvin. Here's a takeaway on the run. Cotton to Williams. Missed the finish. Cotton 
and it will score either way. It ends up going in the basket. It was going to be a, an interference call, but it's Cotton with a big burst of energy here. And the first field goal of the game goes to Wichita State, 3-0. Shockers in the ballroom. Volleyball in the, uh, the basketball room at Moon Palace, the Galactic Ballroom, the name, in case you've been here before. If you've been to a convention, well, now it's, it's hoops on the hardwood. A 3-0 score, Wichita State on the Kale Cotton. Hustle on the offensive end. Cotton's been a nice jolt of energy, a nice jolt of performance for the Shockers. And here's another takeaway, and now lost out of bounds. The Anthony Early had it, couldn't corral it. It'll go back to DePaul with 17 seconds to shoot. Good play coming out of the timeout. You're trying to get your best player to basketball. Clean Anthony moves his feet and is able to deflect it away. Well, you mentioned it earlier too, Coach. That last was a foul call. That's going to be against Malcolm Armstead. Grabbed on to Darrell McDonald. Four fouls now for Wichita State as a team. Earlier, Demetric Williams, that last five seconds of that shot clock, that defensive pressure, you mentioned it, really across the board defensively, especially the extended pressure here by Wichita State, has been suffocating for the Blue Demons. It's been a trademark of Wichita State since Greg Marshall came to the program six years ago. Pass to the corner is deflected out of bounds. Will stay with the call. And a substitution on the floor here for the Blue Demons. They're going to send back in Warrell Clahar. He'll replace Darrell McDonald. Freshman checks out and senior checks in. 20 seconds on the shot clock. 15.01 to go in the First half of action, 3-0 the score. Wichita State has the lead, and that's a two just on the line. Count the basket, it's going to be a two-pointer. First bucket of the game for DePaul, and they're on the board. Moses Morgan, their best shooter, the son of former Indiana great Winston Morgan. Moses averaging 10 points a game, 7 of 19 on threes in the early portion of the season, and just a... Just a hair away from the three on that try, just inside the line. Gets his team within one. Here's a long shot missed badly by Early. But back to Wichita State. Shot clock did not reset, so we've got 10. Power move up and in. Carl Hall. Smart play by Malcolm Armstead. On the offensive rebound, go right back inside. Now the ball stripped away, and Wichita State will run. That's Williams. Lob. Good defense against Clay Anthony early. DePaul, good hustle to get back, deny the break. The conversion by DePaul prevents the basket. <laughs> Offensive rebound, and then go right back inside. Carl Hall freezes the defense with a pump fake and finishes. Carl Hall leads the team in both scoring and rebounding. That's a good finish there. Now Hall with a major swat, but blocking foul down low. Looks good up top, but it's going to result in free throws for DePaul, and that foul will go, go against Dimitri Williams, who blocked. And a couple of free throws coming up. Subs will have to wait. DePaul has one waiting, and Wichita State has one waiting. Hey, we're getting ready for a little note for you after this free throw from Warrell Klahar. You might want to get your your Twitter device out and get ready for it. Coming up in just a moment. Let's see what Kahara can do here at the line. Missed the first one. Checking in for Wichita State will be Baker and a couple of subs in for DePaul. It's going to be Cotton and Malcolm Armstead. Hey, you can tweet yourself into the game. Use hashtag Cancun Hoops. Fans, players, coaches tweeting from the beaches and bleachers. We're tweeting courtside. Get in the game. Use hashtag Cancun Hoops. Like to hear your contributions to the flow tonight for DePaul and Wichita State. Free throws missed, but DePaul gets the ball back on the offensive rebound. Spin, shot, and a score. DePaul basket, Charles McKinney. Inbounds for Wichita State. DePaul picks up with a little 2-2-1 pressure. Armstead handles the basketball. Trying to work it inside, early put it back outside to Williams. Drives, got a lane over big trees and missed the shot. A one-on-three, so smartly pulling it back was Charles McKinney. 
Five to four our score. Wichita State has the one point lead. We went uh, three minutes with no score in this game. It's It's been tough to find the basket here in Cancun so far. Defense is prevailing in the early going. Klahar lost it away to Williams. One on one, Williams. E Uno. Basket and a foul. Great body control by Williams, able to slide by the defender, avoid the charge, force the foul, has a chance for a three-point play. Edwin McGee was indicated for the foul. Carl Hall will check out of this game for a moment. As the E Uno and one free throw is coming here in Mexico. There you see Hall taking a seat. There you see Dimitri Williams at the line. That after that last move by Williams, it, it looks like his ankle is back to 100% and had some off-season ankle surgery, but certainly looks very healthy after that move. There goes Williams over to the bench. Fred Van Vliet and Jake White just checked in for the Shockers. But well, bench is very active early in this game. A lot of substitutions go there. It's like a hockey game. <laughs> One team, DePaul's already played nine. Wichita State has played 11. Well, it can't be the altitude. We're at about <laughs> negative five feet of altitude, so it can't be that. They're going deep on those benches. Trying to keep that pace up. Fresh legs, fresh lungs in the game. Up top, McKinney with 13 seconds on the shot clock. Wichita State has done a great job of forcing DePaul's offense to start further out than they would like. Morgan up against the shot clock with two to go. Missed it. Arupe, big board. Seven-footer with some springs. Baker cuts. He'll tip it and it's going to fly out of bounds. We'll give the possession back to DePaul. 8-4. Wichita State has the lead. But DePaul has the basketball. 12.06 to go first half. And DePaul readying Cleveland Melvin to check back in. Probably be on the other side of the break. Or at least have him at the table so he can get right back on under that 12-minute mark when the opportunity comes. Jake White up high on defense against Moses Morgan. Drives it and a foul. It's going to be 17 foul. So we're into the bonus scenario already at 11.46. That'll happen after we step aside. It's the Cancun Challenge. Wichita State leading 8-4 over to Paul in Cancun. Free throw single bonus on deck here, and he'll earn the second one with Moses Morgan. Nice work to get two out of this, and the single bonus now seven fouls committed by Wichita State. That last foul, Jake White picked it up, and you know, talking about DePaul, Coach, they did not win a game in February last year. They lost nine games. They won their last game in January and won their first game in March, but they went 0 for Feb, a nine-game losing streak, and that really put a dagger in the season. Well, it, it did, and, and you know, when you're trying to create a new culture, which is exactly what Oliver Purnell is doing there. It takes some time. And I think he's got some good pieces in Brandon Young and, and Cleveland Melvin, who will not only be there this year, but one more year as well. 8-6 on the board now after the visit to the strike for Moses Morgan. Morgan off to a nice start tonight. Van Vliet is in the game and handling the basketball. That's Fred, the freshman from Rockford, Illinois. Fred Van Vliet. Here's Carl Hall going back to work. And scoring, well, you can tell why Paul is big on the stats so far offensively. He is great inside around the basket. Yeah, he just he puts the game in slow motion. He's never in a hurry. Knows how to use his body judiciously. Last year's Valley Newcomer of the Year, King's Most Inspirational Player Award. Overcame a heart condition a few years back and got himself back on the court after having to step away from the game briefly. This ball lost by Melvin in Wichita State. Another turnover forced. Van Vliet drives, gets it on the glass, and now a foul as Melvin came back out. Pace picking up, Coach? A little bit. It, it is. It, watch a guy who knows how to play to keep it slow. If you're a post guy, he knows he catches it a little bit further out, has to get into his shooting range, backs him down, a little bump to freeze the defense, and then the finish. Carl Hall also donning those glasses this year. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the broadcast, perhaps when he goes to the free throw line. 
to Kale Cotton checking back in for the Shockers, replacing Fred Van Vliet. To Kale Cotton put in good energy minutes in this first 10 minute set for Wichita State. I'm sure he's going to earn play more playing time with that style. Melvin, good on the first. That we've gone almost 10 minutes and Melvin has not taken a single shot from the floor. That's great defense by Wichita State. A great job of following the scouting report that the coaches have set up. Got one of two, did Melvin. It's 10 7. DePaul keeping it close. Wichita State has tried to surge a few times and they've not been able to separate. Here's a lob. Played by Cotton and missed. Pressure around the rim, and it's Melvin pulling it away in front of Clee Anthony early. Wichita State not afraid to go acrobatics. High flying game up at the rim. Hasn't worked so far on a couple of tries. Ball knocked away. Another turnover. Wichita State runs it. Williams will pull it back out. Now back in, and Hall was fouled from behind on the entry pass, and that's seventh foul for DePaul. So now bonus time for Wichita State. Like they called Donovan Kirk on oh, that last hack. Off the line goes Carl Hall. And missed the front end. Hall with four points in the game to lead all scorers, but missed an opportunity to, to extend the lead, kicking down to 10 minutes to go. First half of action, both teams in the single bonus. We're going to be seeing a lot of free throws in this first half. McGee. And here we go again. That'll be free throws. So anything like that, coach, it's time to score with the bonus in effect. Again, we talked about it earlier. The players have to adjust to the officiating. The officials aren't going to adjust to the players. The players have to understand that, you know, any bump, any hold is going to be called tonight. DePaul gets Darrell McDonald back on the floor, replacing Edwin McGee. Cleveland Melvin stepping to the line. Wichita State wants to check in Jake White, and they will. That means Early's checking out of the game, and that's because he's got two fouls. So getting Cleanthony Anthony Early to the bench with his two. Melvin missed it. Free play's not working out so well, and we have now a foul here on the rebound, and we'll head the other way. DePaul foul. Cleveland Melvin Palace Resorts invites you to live in awe with extraordinary new offerings acclaimed entertainment and superior amenities over the top guest experiences truly all inclusive we're at the Moon Palace part of the Palace Resorts chain palaceresorts.com thanks to Palace Resorts for their fine efforts to host this Cancun challenge fifth year of the men's event and the women's event I think it's on nine years now if I've got that right Free throw is good. There's something different. It's Demetri Williams knocking it down. The senior out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Cheyenne High School is where he played his prep ball. Another try for Demetri. Five points now. A game high after those two converted. Three of three from the line. Plus that and one field goal for the five points for Demetri. 12-7, Wichita State up five. Kick out and traveling is the call. It'll go back to Wichita State. Great job by Cotton at the beginning of the play, denying the entry pass. Great team defense. Cotton denies it, and then Jake White steps in to take the charge. Travel is called before, but good job by Jake White to force that travel. Charles McKinney just checked out. Donovan Kirk is in the game along with Cleveland Melvin for DePaul. Moses Morgan out there. Darrell McDonald on the floor. And Brandon Young, the five on the floor for the Blue Demons. Cotton thought about it. Wichita State will reevaluate the offense. Williams up top. Straight on three, no good. Neither team has hit a three yet. Here's another ball taken away. That's the seventh turnover. I'm going to actually update that. That's number eight in the turnover category for DePaul. 
And whistle. And we'll go back to 15 feet here for some free shots. Nine team fouls committed by each squad now. So we go one more time. It'll be double bonus. This will be a single bonus try for Takale Cotton. Cleveland Melvin was whistled for the foul, and he's got two damage on the foul chart. Well, now you have to make a decision if you're Oliver Purnell. Do you put your best offensive player, who, albeit has struggled here in the in the first half, do you put him on the bench, save him for the second half with only a five-point deficit? That was a shooting foul, so two shots here for Cotton. Missed the first. DePaul gets Melvin off the floor. Darrell Robertson, Jr., the sophomore, is going to hop into that spot. Give Melvin a breather. Missed them both. Struggles at the free throw line. Nine minutes now to go and a five-point lead for the Shockers. With Melvin out of the game, you got to look for Young or Morgan to try and take control. And, and Young right on cue going to the basket. So we're back to the stripe. And this will be two shots. And everything from here on out will be two shots. Both teams heading to the double bonus. Great pass on the give and go. Cotton, you can see him try to slide under to make the contact. Good call by the official. That block charge is always the toughest call in, in the business. Kale Cotton, his first foul according to my stats ledger. And a free throw rattles down for Brandon Young, junior out of Baltimore. Brandon, 15.7 points and four assists through the first three games. One of the key offensive contributors early on and identified along with Cleveland Melvin as a couple of key players, a couple of juniors who've had those growing pains freshman, sophomore year, and are they ready to step the ball up into the next tier of the Big East? A couple of free throws good, and good to see that from the stripe. It's been tough from the line. Young, nice work. The ball back into the full court press on the dead ball. Look for him to turn it up, maybe try and get a steal. White, White over the top of pressure to Cotton. Now White runs, but that ball tossed away nearly. White, good hustle play to get it back to Hall. Cotton had it, plenty of time on the shot clock, and deep breath and a settle for the Shockers. Armstead has the basketball. Bunches of fouls on the board, Coach, but you've been talking about it. Armstead will launch the three. Hit it, Tres Puntos. Malcolm Armstead, first three-point basket sunk tonight by either team, 15-9. Wichita State. So you made reference to it earlier, Coach, talking about some good whistles. A lot of fouls on the board, but how do you see it? Called tightly well, or I, a product of aggressive I, play? Well, I think it's a combination of both, but I think it's more it's just called tightly. But, you know, the tighter it is, I think it, the advantage goes to Wichita State because they have a deeper bench. That ball flies out of bounds, and it's going to go to Wichita State. A lost opportunity on the offensive end for DePaul. Nine turnovers for the Blue Demons. Four turnovers for Wichita State. And that's a good point, That Only four turnovers for Wichita State. A team that graduated five seniors. A first-year point guard in Malcolm Armstead, albeit the Oregon transfer is a is his senior so he does have some experience but it'll be his first year here at wichita state free throw line high and a drive cotton missed it depaul will secure it good job staying with it by charles mckinney blue demons thinking about running young strokes it and knocks it down down to a four-point game nice pull up by brandon young good body control DePaul trying to create some offense out of their defense. Hot no run again. White reverses it. The Uno. The basket and the foul. 17-11. A free throw coming for Jake White after a timeout on the floor. Wichita State up by six. And in part due to this. Only three of the game. It's Malcolm Armstead in Cancun.
Spine. And he's back there right now with two shots. Again, both teams in that double bonus for quite some time now. Melvin Good on the first one, his second point of the game. Had to sit for a bit with two fouls in this first half, did Melvin. So he's had about 11 minutes played so far in the first half with three and a half to go. Got one of two. His team down 10. Time to play defense for DePaul. Wichita State brings it up. DePaul in an extended 2-3 zone trying to force Wichita State to start their offense a little bit further out. Williams takes the screen from Hall, takes it down the paint, and scores. Two-man game, basket for Williams. A great job on the ball screen by Hall, and Williams able to get into the interior. Back to 12 points, the lead. Young gets pressure from White. Melvin, baseline, spins, scores, pretty finish. And then Melvin wanted to pick up pressure, but nobody else was there, so he'll retreat. He's like, I scored. I'm going to go steal the ball. <laughs> I'm scoring again. Great effort by Cleveland Melvin. His coach just showed us. Great work by our crew tonight. Good camera work on that to isolate on Melvin. He's working hard. He scored there. Wiggins looked good, but rimmed out. DePaul's going to run it. Young stutter step. Free throw line pull up is no good and ooh, Melvin over the back and that's going to be three personal fouls for the leader for DePaul. You know, that's a situation on this last possession where the wrong guy took the shot. Young takes the shot instead of kicking it back to Morgan and Melvin trying to hustle and create an offensive rebound and instead commits the foul. Jake White, two free throws. He's one of one tonight from the line. Jake out of Chaska, Minnesota, 6'8 sophomore. Played in 21 games as a freshman last year. He's got four points, chance for a fifth right here. In this last two minutes with Melvin on the bench now with three fouls, an experienced guy like Moses Morgan has to step up and make some shots for DePaul to get back into the game. Wichita State at 50% from the free throw line, 6 of 12, not taking advantage of charity moments. Morgan, long three, that's no good. DePaul yet to hit a three, and we've got a foul on the rebound. It was a Wichita State rebound foul. DePaul gets free throws. Carl Hall, the recipient of that foul call, and that will send Darrell Robertson to the line. Coach for Carl Hall, just his first personal foul, so no big trouble for the spearhead of the Wichita State offense, but not the same story for DePaul with Melvin out of this game right now with three. You can see on the shot that Robertson gets good inside position and Carl Hall at first started to use his lower body to push him, but once his hands got up top, the official was able to make the call. Robertson hits one of two at the stripe, and it's back to 10 points, 27-17. DePaul in this game, 9 of 15 from the free throw line for 60% compared to that 50% mark for Wichita State. Acceleration by Armstead to the wing to Williams, drives, flips it, blocked out of there by Robertson. Hall fights for it, but it's taken by Young. He's got Kahar open, drives it, hesitates, avoids the D, and will go back the other way. Wichita State had the board with Nick Wiggins. Quick shot, no good. The ball wants to run the other way as we tick down under 115 to go. Young tries to find a seam, missed the shot, and we're going to go back. Ping pong. Young is taking too many off-balance acrobatic shots. That's missed by Williams, who lost the handle on the way to the rim. Now Young gets a clean run at it. And the basket. Harum and some Scarum mixed in there. <laughs> and that's enough for Coach Greg Marshall. He says timeout with 54.7 seconds to go in the first half. 
quite a sequence there, Coach. Uh, you know, Brandon Young is trying a little bit too hard after this. Inbound coming for the Shockers and a substitution issue. So back on the floor is Warrell Klahar. His sub was not at the bench when the, when the appropriate time allotted to get checked in. So he's got to wait for the next stoppage here on the DePaul side. And that waiting to check in over there is Charles McKinney. Well, Time out taken by Greg Marshall for the Shockers. What did he just say? Well, look, let's look for Wichita State to try and get the ball to Carl Hall. I mean, that's right now. DePaul doing a good job of, of scrambling, double teaming. Takes him out of it. This has been a rough possession, but Carl Hall nearly got it to go. White had it, and it's taken away by DePaul. Boy, the Blue Demons had Shockers out of order that entire possession, and now with less than a shot clock on the game clock, they can burn it down for one here. It's a great job by Oliver Purnell doubling the first pass. It took Wichita State out of their set play. Get a defensive rebound. Now you have a chance to cut it to six. First three of the game is scored by Worrell Klahar. A big basket to get it to five. A fling at the half. No good. And DePaul surges back at the intermission with that three from Worrell Klahar. 27-22 is the score. Two the other way. Interesting flip-flop. I'm not a math genius. But the numbers tell me if you're not going to shoot a high percentage, you got to get more shots. So that means DePaul's got to take better care of the basketball here in the second half. Very necessary and impressive surge at the end of the first half by DePaul. Got them back to a five-point deficit. We've got a foul call right out of the gates to start the second half. And yeah, nothing new there. You know, Greg Marshall not happy with his big guy, Arupe, trying to help the shooter out. Moved a little bit, a little hip check, and the foul. Second foul for Rupe in this contest. Try to catch our breath here in a moment, give you an update if we've got any foul issues on the board. Klahar missed the long shot, finished the first half with a three. Could not knock down his first chance of the second half. Score stays as it was when we began this one, 27-22. Now a little over 40 seconds into our second half of this semifinal game of the Cancun Challenge. Baker with the shooter's touch, bounces one home, Ron Baker for two. Inside we go, DePaul, quick shot, and it will bounce away into the hands of Carl Hall. Rupe changing the trajectory of that shot. Cleveland Melvin on the floor with his three fouls in tow, grab the loose ball. DePaul sets some offense. Inside, skyhook, no good from Donovan Kirk. Wichita State has the glass. Armstead all the way to the basket. Arupe on the try, won't go. Melvin outlet, it's a two-on-one run here. DePaul, and too many steps on his way to the rim. Out of stride was Charles McKinney, and he walked. Big players, Carl Hall gets back on defense. And McKinney, seeing Hall in the lane, takes that extra step. If he was coming from behind, I would have said he heard, heard footsteps. Instead, he was looking eye to eye at Carl Hall standing there waiting to take the charge. Part of the problem, too, is McKinney looked up late. That pass was already in the air when he looked up and saw it coming, and he hadn't set his feet or adjusted his feet to stride. And that was doomed from the time the pass left the hand without the receiver head up. Probably already checking on Hall to make sure how to navigate the lane was McKinney. Bounce. Hall scores. Unselfish play by Clee Anthony early. DePaul in some trouble back down by nine. They've given up the first four points without scoring in this second half. It's easy to throw that cliche first five minutes of the most important in the second half, but this is a critical juncture here in the game for DePaul. They cannot come off that deficit and go right back in that same hole. Well, it's the first, first five of the second half, the last five of the first half. Free throws here for the Blue Demons. Wichita State playing like they've played together for a long time. They swing the ball, and Cleanthe early, the two-time National Junior College Player of the Year, known for his scoring, shows his unselfishness with a dump off to Carl Hall. 
Carl Hall just picked up his second foul. Awarding two free throws to Cleveland Melvin. Missed the first. The call substitution. Moses Morgan back in the game. Replacing Charles McKinney. Also for DePaul, Darrell Robertson Jr. is going to step in for Donovan Kirk. So that revolving door of substitutions back in effect here in the early part of the second half. Yeah, and if you're out over Purnell, you've got to be a little concerned by the poor free throw shooting of Cleveland Melvin. Some of that can be attributed to the physical play from Wichita State during the action. And it tires the guy out and leaves his shot short at the line. Melvin now two of seven from the line. He's gotten there plenty, earning his chances. He's missing him. Ball loose near midcourt, and DePaul stays with it. And a grab and a hold and a foul. Wichita State, Clee Anthony Early trying to prevent the breakaway, grabbed off. Early is very lucky on this possession. After the turnover, he's lucky he doesn't get called for the intentional. You can see he's, as the ball is clearly loose, and you can see him grab the guy he's, to prevent him from picking it up and getting an easy one. That backside defensive help from Worrell Klahar forced the ball out of the hands of Early. And gave possession back to DePaul. Three-point try is off the mark, and a rebound hold foul to Paul. Guilty, the three-point launch from Moses Morgan, missed it. And now some trouble with the foul by Darrell Robertson. Third foul for Robertson. Nine-point advantage, Wichita State semifinal game of the Cancun Challenge. Winner plays tomorrow night at... 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central here in Cancun for the championship. Carl Hall reversed it off the pass from Armstead, but missed it. Open look and knocks it down. Brandon Young, good job stepping into the void, scoring two. Well, Brandon Young, much better job of being under control, taking a shot that you can make. Jake White to the basket, rolled it off. Hall battles, but won't find the basketball out of the hands of Moses Morgan. DePaul down by seven with some pace again. Kick out for three. Morgan is good. Trace Puntos, and we're down to a four-point game. Well, that's the, the blue demon that you can't allow an open look. The 86-3 in Moses Morgan's career. Wessel to the basket, easy finish around the three fouls of Darrell Robertson, could not foul there. Wessel takes the easy two. Good job by Wessel, understanding that Robertson has three fouls, attacking the rim. Wessel, a sophomore from Wichita, Heights High School. First team All-State, three straight state championships for the Heights Falcons in his high school days, now performing in Cancun for the Hometown Shockers. Ball tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Baker. And it'll stay with DePaul with 11 seconds to shoot. DePaul fighting their way back after going in the hole. They're off Eastern, 6 o'clock Central. And the championship game to follow tomorrow. Stick with us on CBS Sports Network for a feast of basketball. Get that napkin tucked in your collar and kick back on the couch and just mow down some hoops here on CBS Sports Network. You gotta love a player like Jake White. He gives up his body for his teammates. He is not afraid to step in and take the charge on Brandon Young, who was like a bull in a china shop. Jake White, second charge of the night. Wichita State, six points, the advantage, and the basketball. Brandon Young just picked up his first foul. Nice looking shot from the corner. Trace Puntos, Evan Wessel. Great ball movement against the press. A wide open Wessel. Great looking shot from the corner. Can't leave him open. We've seen cold shooting here in the warm climate of Cancun, but Wessel clearly a threat, even in a game when it appears everybody's a little bit off the mark. Pure stroke. Nice turnaround. It's a two shot. 
or a two-point shot, but a good answer there from Moses Morgan as they turn it around off, on offense to the Blue Demons. Wessel again, Mr. Too Strong. Good push by DePaul on the jumper. Little gap for Melvin, and he'll take advantage of it and the contact. Free throw coming up. Wichita State foul. Ahime Arupe will pick it up. When you attack the press, you cannot settle for a jumper. What you missed on that was you missed Wessel's miss against the press. Long rebound, all of a sudden, DePaul gets a run out. Melvin with a chance for a three-point play. Arupe, third foul, and did not check out initially, but I believe he is going to give way now, take his three fouls to the bench. Will Arupe, he is replaced by Takale Cotton, giving up. We have their 10 inches of lost size for the Shockers. Wichita State goes smaller in stature, but bigger in heart. Just Takale Cotton has a heart as big as anybody in this building. Here comes Cleveland Melvin. Not a strong first half for Melvin. No lack of effort. Great movement, but just didn't have it going. So he's starting to heat things up. That'll be key for DePaul down the stretch of the second half, and they're back within four. Well, the bigger key is can they continue to get things off of their press and force Wichita State out of their offense? Staying with it after the missed floater, Armstead cleans it back up and puts it back in. Good pick up by Armstead. Nice stick to activity. Wessel on the floor trying to play some defense, and it will be Evan Wessel's foul. Third Sit foul for Wessel. Situation there, Thad, where Wessel trying so hard to prevent Melvin from catching the ball, but has to understand that if Melvin catches it, he's going to get help from a teammate. So no need to commit the foul that far away from the basket. Ron Baker, the redshirt freshman, checks in for Wichita State. There you see Wessel leaving the court. And interestingly, Arupe out with those three fouls right back in. He's on the court again. Young bumped and missed the three-point try. Coach Purnell asking for some help on the contact on that three-point shot. Instead, it's time to play defense for DePaul. Cotton. Left side drive. DePaul battles for it, and the shortest man on the court, Morel Flahar. Triggers it down court. Robertson up top. Hands it away to Moses Morgan. Melvin. A chunk of Baker on the shoulder there. As three bounces around. That might be the most rim contacts in history for a made three-point pass. Yeah, he, he touched every part of it. But he's the guy that you can't leave. Ron Baker goes to double Melvin and leaves their best three-point shooter open. Morgan now gets a piece of the pass and a fly out of bounds. Ooh. Watch this soft touch One, on this. Two, two, three. We'll count the backboards. Four, three. The backboard. Five, six. Kind of seven on that last one. You got the backboards in there. You know what? He's the type of shooter that if he went to the carnival, he'd win the biggest stuffed animal there. Great here, soft touch. Here in Cancun, you get a big old sombrero if you hit that shot. And a big make. Gets it down to three points now. 38-35. Jake White is going to re-enter the contest. And Ahime Arupe will head back out. This is the type of pace that DePaul wants. They want it to be frenetic. They want Wichita State to not be able to get into their half-court set. Shot for Williams is no good. And Klahar again battling on the boards. It's knocked out of bounds by Wichita State. I like Laurel Klahar. You know, He's credit, fun to watch. Credit to Paul's defense for that quick shot by Williams. Not exactly what Greg Marshall, I'm sure, had planned. DePaul within one possession of tying this game. Down to Wichita State. Morgan for the tie. That shot looked good, but did not get the bounce on this opportunity. They dodged a bullet and opened Morgan. Williams in trouble. Got it to Baker. Drives baseline. Baseline kick. Now up top. Cotton was open. Tip and Klahar is there, and he's fouled. 
That'll be the sixth team foul committed by Wichita State in this second half. So again, one more, and we head back to the free throw line with the Blue Demons. They're going to need to clean up the free throw shooting if they want to pull this game in the semifinals and head to the championship. And, and this is very atypical Wichita State. They're a team that has made more free throws than their opponents have attempted this year. So, you know, some careless fouling on loose balls tonight. To Cale Cotton, second foul. He'll leave the floor, and Malcolm Armstead will check back in. DePaul, 10 of 18 from the free throw line in the game. 6 of 12 is Wichita State, so six more free throw tries for DePaul in this game. Still a three-point margin as we head toward the 12-minute mark of the second half. Dribbling, maybe over-dribbling, over and a traveling call on the fall down. DePaul loses the basketball. Darrell McDonald gave it away. And now the, we've got 14 turnovers now for DePaul on the update. Yep, it's 14 giveaways. You know, at first glance, it looked like Jake White might have gotten his foot in there. But on second opinion, I think he just slipped. Full court pressure matched up here by DePaul. One thing I'll say about that turnover, though, it's a dead ball turnover, so it allows DePaul to get into their press and a chance to get it back. Okay, the points in the paint have been hugely in favor of Wichita State in this game as of the last stop, 22 to 2 for the paint points. Shockers uh, plus 20 inside scoring, but just enough three-point make here and there. And a long range shot here and there for the Blue Demons, and they stuck around. Paul spins, finds the open man. It's Baker. Bahar nearly ran it down. Now numbers for the Shockers. Williams to the rim, you know. Count the basket for Williams and the foul for DePaul will be charged to Darrell Robertson Jr. Free throw coming up after this finish. And one. Well, it's that time of year again. You know, picture taking season. Look for Wichita State on a made free throw to pick up the intensity on their half-court defense. Try and deny the entry pass and take the ball out of their half-court set. Into double figures goes Demetrius Williams with 10 points on that two plus one, including four of four from the free throw line. One of the few players tonight having a good time at the 15-foot strike. And he puts the team back up by six. Game high on us right now. Moses Morgan has 12 points in the game for DePaul. Lahar. And an offensive rebound, chance to reset after Donovan Kirk grabbed the miss. The ball continues to be forced a couple feet further than they would like to start their offense, pushing their shots back. Morgan missed it, had some traffic as he took it to the basket. Wichita State pulls it away. As we head now down under the 11-minute mark of this second half. Armstead, the drive and the finish over big man. Armstead, that lefty, he's a crafty lefty, the second straight left-handed point guard for Greg Marshall. Joe Raglan last year as he led the team to the NCAAs. Another lefty this year. Ball loose, and now the foul committed on the attempted hustle play by Williams. He'll pick up the foul. How bad did Malcolm Armstead want to play for Wichita State? He paid his own way last year when he transferred from Oregon, and you can see why Greg Marshall is loving him this year. Only has one year to play, but he is going to make an impact in the Missouri Valley Conference. And again, the little things, uh, not on the stat sheet. You saw Carl Hall set the screen that freed him up for that finish. Hall playing a solid basketball game in his first shot here at Cancun Challenge. First free throw good, and another one coming for Brandon Young. 43-36. Important second one so that DePaul can get into their press. 
Brandon Young hits a couple, and he's into double figures himself. And for Young, he's four of four from the free throw line, 10 points. Paul kicks it back to Armstead, bounces it to Williams. Tough pressure by DePaul, well handled by the Shockers. Nice passing, White will score, E Uno. Oh my, clinic basketball, just clinic basketball on that possession. Great point guards have laser vision when they're handling the ball. And you can see his Armstead with his right, head is up. His eyes are surveying the court, and he delivers it to Jake White. That looked like when you run offensive drills in practice and there's no defense, and you just work on ball movement. There was plenty of defense, but they wove it and threaded it and executed perfectly. I'd say Peyton Manning would have been impressed with that delivery. Cleveland, Melvin, four fouls. And he just left the court, did Melvin. Not a good situation for New Demons. Recall pulls the free throw, miss. The request for an out-of-bounds call against Montre Clemens, who sat out last season, has been working his way back onto the floor, but Clemens successfully grabbed it and dished it. 45-37. DePaul down by eight. Three near ten minutes to play. Spin, McKinney. Loose ball grabbed by DePaul and a clear out foul down low. Wichita State committed the foul. Jake White is guilty. And that'll be single bonus. Here we go with chances at the free throw line to reel it back in for DePaul. Back into the game comes Clee Anthony early and he'll take the place of Jake White. Three fouls for Jake. Front end, good. Clemens will shoot another. Montre Clemens, part of that Charm City triumvirate. Three guys from Baltimore and Clemens, Young, and Melvin. Clemens, a freshman by eligibility after a knee injury in October 2011 practice, kept him off the floor last year. Getting about five minutes per game for their first three in this season. Getting some time right here in Cancun. Hit both of his free throws, and that's what they're going to need, along with a few other things in this last ten minutes of the game. But a good trend here is DePaul starting to knock him down now from the strike. Well, very important for a guy like Brandon Young to be the leader on the floor right now as he's the most experienced guy with Melvin on the bench. Armstead had it to Hall. He lost it. Loose ball ends up back with the Shockers. Williams, a dagger, and he hit the three. Great teams make the extra pass. Ron Baker, unselfish play. The ball did everything in their power to end that possession. Wichita State kept moving it, kept hustling. There's a foul call, more free throws for the Blue Demons. Watch the kick out. Ron Baker, who's a great three-point shooter, says, no, I'm going to be a passer on this play. That's how you know as a coach that you have the makings of a championship-level team. Guys who were willing to make the extra pass. There goes Carl Hall with three fouls. He will sit. And Ahime Arupe is back in. Arupe also with three fouls. Platooning going on. Court cleanup, by the way, condensation. Uh, we're in Cancun. It's humid. It's on the beach. Good job by our floor crew of staying on top of the precip. Back out to a nine point advantage for Wichita State. Now make it eight and another chance here for Donovan Kirk. And DePaul keeps reeling him in, and Wichita State keeps making a run on the line. But at some point, if you're DePaul, you got to get over the hump. And right now, they have to do it with Cleveland Melvin on the bench, which means they got to do it on a defensive end. DePaul has never led in this game. They had it down to three moments ago. And uh, I thought we had a lane violation, but nope, we've got a foul on the rebound. Not bonus time yet for... Wichita State, DePaul 
The foul there looks like they gave that to Montre Clemens and should be five team fouls now. Five fouls committed by DePaul. Take a couple more to send the Shockers into the bonus. Armstead, boy, you can see him feeling it here in the second half. Nice baseline kick. Shot missed. Early battles. Early again. Early scores. Stick to it, Timothy. Lee Anthony early. Free throws again for DePaul. Demetric Williams was hoping he had it, but instead he's called for the block. Coaches love players who are relentless. Early doesn't fret about getting his shot blocked. He just keeps going after it. Put his picture next to the, the verb of stick to activity in the dictionary. First, let's check and see. Is that in the dictionary? It should be. <laughs> it is now. It's at least on Wikipedia, <laughs> which is the dictionary anymore, right? Kale Cotton waiting to check in. We'll have to hang on for a second. Demetric Williams, three fouls, 9.07 to go. Back to a double-digit margin here, 50-40 to 40, Wichita State. Well, Demetric Williams just, he, he sees the big guy coming. He knows that the Donovan Kirk is about 250, 260 pounds, and he's just trying to protect himself. There goes Williams <laughs> leaving the court, and... Will be replaced by Kale Cotton. First free throw was good for Kirk. Donovan will shoot again. DePaul trying to keep this thing in single digits. You keep feeling it moving on them. But they're hanging around. The Blue Demons get a couple clean free throw strokes from Donovan Kirk, and it's back to eight points. Ten fouls committed by Wichita State. Five here by DePaul in the second half. A double bonus. The rest of the way out for DePaul when they get fouled. And we have seen a big turnaround in their free throw shooting of late, Coach. That'll be among the ways they're going to have to grind this thing back down. Long shot from Armstead. Missed it. Rebound battle again. And the Shockers come away with it. Early showing why he was the two-time National Junior College Player of the Year. Another solid finish. High off the left side, glass from Armstead. Rebounds now tied at 34 apiece. DePaul had the advantage at halftime with Wichita State winning the board battle in the second half. Timeout called here by DePaul, first 30 of the second half taken by either team. DePaul wants to stop it with 16 seconds on the shot clock and 8.03 on the game clock. Malcolm Armstead, every practice worked with Joe Ragland. Now, Malcolm Armstead is leading the attack for Wichita State, dropping and scoring. Some local kids to the game tonight, the foundation Helping to add to the enthusiasm in the basketball room at Moon Palace. Foul committed by Wichita State and Ron Baker coming out of the timeout. It'll be double bonus free throws for the Blue Demons. We've got a timeout from the Moon Palace. Ten-point lead for the Shockers in the semifinals of the Cancun Challenge. Here you go. All right. Good night. I'm going to... Customs, as I guess we like to say here in Mexico. In fact, our, uh, our own director had a... Our TV director had a little... Little Muhammad moment at the uh, immigration station at the airport. They just wouldn't let him out of the United States. First free throw bounces away, and DePaul stays at a 10 point deficit. Thanks to our crew, a combination of US based and Mexico based crew. We like to mix it up here and bring a little bit of each of the uh, approaches to our game. We appreciate the work of. Our entire crew tonight and tomorrow. Doubleheader tonight, doubleheader tomorrow from the Moon Palace in Cancun. Thad Anderson, Rich Zavosik with you on CBS Sports Network. And we'll be here all night long. Run and a score. Wichita State to the rim. Clean Anthony early. Textbook way to break the press. Keep it off the floor. Attack the rim. 
DePaul falls into a double-digit deficit at 11 points. Lahar. Baker, big save. Nice hustle play by Ron Baker. Cotton, he's going to shoot free throws. Here we go with pace again, coach. Good job of looking ahead with the basketball. Carl Hall, one dribble to get his balance. Thrown it ahead to Cleon Anthony. Or Cleon Anthony early, I'm sorry. We've talked about it throughout the night. Carl Hall showing game variety. We've seen early in the season he's been a scorer, an offensive performer, and sort of the, the typical spearhead of a team. But tonight he is showing multiple layers of ways to make a team better. Right now he's the leader on the floor with four new guys. Nikhil Cotton played sparingly last year. Cotton missed the first Triple Crown Sports Crown to present the Cancun Challenge. Basketball, the baseball, and the fast pitch to volleyball. Treat your team right with destination locations, signature memories, and professional staff. Youth teams, high school teams, and college teams get in the game at TripleCrownSports.com. TripleCrownSports.com. Check the website. Triple Crown presents this Cancun Challenge. Women and men playing in Cancun here Thanksgiving week. Cotton hits the second. Now, dozen point disadvantage for DePaul, who has the basketball. Three point try by Young is no good. Too early for desperation, but you could sort of feel some air come out of the, the entire gym on that miss. Early, though, gives it back on a three-point try that bounces long. Young going to run it. Floats it over early. Donovan Kirk is fouled, and he'll shoot two. That was Takale Cotton who got a piece of Kirk. Well, the key for DePaul in the half court is they, they've got to get the ball to their main, main scoring threat, which right now is Moses Morgan. Brandon Young can't settle for a jump shot on the first pass. Wichita State winning the board battle 18 to 12 in the second half. They were even 36 apiece after the ball won the boards in the first half. First free throw good, and it's Cleveland Melvin back in with his four fouls. Melvin on the floor now. Williams and Armstead out there in the guard positions for Wichita State. Wessel is on the floor. Along with Cleanthony Anthony Early and Carl Hall for the Shockers. Free throws are true for DePaul, and a 30-second timeout is taken by the Blue Demons. They have it back to 10-point disadvantage with 6.58. is screams and disruption of the defense to free up his teammates. Uh, on the national scale, everybody talks about Doug McDermott at Creighton in the Missouri Valley, a great forward. Jackie Carmichael at Illinois State. But Carl Hall is as good as anybody in the league regardless of the conference there goes armstead again and he missed it badly DePaul fouled him seven fouls against DePaul, so a single bonus this will be a two-shot foul in the shooting attempt but now we've got both teams in bonus territory for upcoming foul calls armstead to the line he is zero for zero from the strike tonight One. Malcolm Armstead played junior college basketball at Chipola Junior College in Florida for now Wichita State assistant Greg Hare. Oh, we looked at that earlier. Greg Hare at Chipola, a record of 164 and 15 in his time coaching at Chipola. Chipola, one, of the, nation. one of the outstanding junior college programs in. Lee Anthony early with a big block on Melvin and for early he's got six rebounds he's got four points in this game done some nice things tonight as Lee Anthony Armstead improvises and scores good point guards use their body and have learned how to shoot the teardrop Armstead example 